feel like people don't daydream about the Files app, but it's seriously useful on iPadOS 16. There are some big new changes, and that's what I'm gonna be talking about in this video. Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here, and this is a preview of everything new with Files in iPadOS 16. Let's go ahead and dive into this. So here I am in the redesigned, updated Files app inside of iPadOS 16. And there is a lot of really cool things to talk about. So first is new improved undo and redo buttons. So anywhere we are in the app, so say I just copied this file, Command C, Command V, I can go ahead and at any time I can right click and undo that copy I Can go back, choose this one again and undo again, or I can redo. So it's easier to pull those off. If you hit command and pull these up, you also see the shortcuts for undoing and redoing anything that you had just done. Up here in the menu bar, we have a new kind of navigation panel. So first you can see I'm in this product folder, which is right here, but that's also inside of the MG20 images too, which is inside of downloads, which is inside of iCloud Drive. And I can jump back to any of these without having to go back one by one each time. This new navigation menu also includes handy tools for files. So renaming a file, copying a file, moving a file, or getting information on a file. Now, speaking of getting information on a file, you can see we have this new information panel here at the right. I can also right click and go to get info. I can see other information about this image, but it works on folders as well. So if I go to this product folder, go down, hit get info. I can see including the size of the file. So I can see it's 1.6 megs, 3.2 on the disk, created when, uh, modified when, all that information. So especially file size, this is new. You could not view file size for things like folders uh, very easily before. Apple has made changes to how you save uh, and open files from multiple applications. So let's go ahead and jump over to Affinity Photo here. And I was starting to save a file. I went here and hit save file and it pops up in a new view. Sorry, it doesn't like me at the moment. Try this again, go to save files, pops up this new view, makes it a little bit easier to do things. So you can see we have the recently used, our internal and external location. So on iPad, iCloud Drive. We have tags, I can rename the file down here, add any tags to this file when I do it. Um, I still have the new navigation button so I can jump to specific areas. It's all very easy and this box works the same whether you're opening or saving a file. So it just makes it easier, more convenient and streamlined to save files to the Files app with iPadOS 16. Another change is that you can actually modify file extensions now. So right now we have this MG20 on the stand. I can go up to this little column view and I can hit view options. So of course there's, I can group these by things right now, date, uh, size, anything like that. But I can show extensions. So this is a .png. But if I wanted to, if we go back, I can right click and I can rename that file. It'll actually let me go over and change that. Now, I'm not saying this is something that works, but switching that to a JPEG, and it'll even give me a little modal alert to use JPEG or keep PNG, and I'm gonna go ahead and force it to use a JPEG, and I've changed that file extension. So that's really handy. Sometimes I download like the WebP files, and if I wanna change them to anything, that is possible. It depends on where you are here in the Files app, but Apple has updated the contextual menu. So you're right-clicking here, or in other spaces throughout the OS, Apple has updated the contextual menu to be better with more information and having a new look and feel. If we jump into something like uh, notes, so I created a note, if we right click, you can see a little bit more of that contextual menu with like cut, copy, paste here at the top. It just depends on where you are. So you can still be in files and be looking at certain files and have a new updated contextual menu that's easier to use. Other changes include new collaboration features. Now you can jump into a dedicated messages thread or a FaceTime call and collaborate inside of the Files app. It also works in the iWork suite like Pages, Numbers, and Keynote, in Safari, in Notes, and third-party applications too. Spotlight is now able to index images that are saved inside of files. So if you have an image of something, you can search for that file and it'll show up inside of Searchlight rather than just in the application. This works for things like uh, contextual images too. So you can search for things like a cat, a dog, a sunset, a car. And if you have an image of those things and they're in the Files app, 
they'll show up inside of Spotlight. Pretty useful. And finally, if you're using the iPad with an external display and using Stage Manager, you can drag and drop individual files between applications. So imagine you have something like Affinity Photo up on your external display, you're editing an image, and you have your Files app open with all of your source stuff that you have on your iPad. And then you can drag, just drag and drop any of those images, files to Affinity Photo. Or if you're working in something else, you can just move stuff between, if you have two Files applications open, move between windows. It's all super useful when working with that external display now. I just love this new drag and drop functionality. It feels very much like Mac OS. So what do you guys think? Is this enough to make files useful here on the iPad? Let me know down below in the comments or over on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. Otherwise, stay tuned. I have a lot more videos on the new iPad OS coming your way.